earth signs to your monthly chakra reading. Hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Uh, this is for Aries Taurus cusp, Leo Virgo cusp, and Sagittarius Capricorn cusp. Okay, guys. Let's see what's going on with you on an energy-based reading, taking those energies and seeing what you have in common to get a balance within your chakras. I do this not only for chakras, my friends, but also with numerology. Okay, so there is a few readings um, that I do do this with. It's, it's not uncommon for me. Okay, so let's see what's going on with you. First message out is despondence, talking about using that third eye chakra located between the brows okay of your eyes this is where you're going to find your intuition your higher self okay <clears throat> this is you have all the answers you need within this card and may indicate the, an emotional tie that no longer serves you remember how you relate to the issues is the issue obstacles are removed when you change your relationship to the obstacle okay so how are you feeling are you feeling helpless about the situation are you accepting the circumstances around you change on the horizon is taking place so go ahead and it's time to take action where action is needed okay so getting out the next card is through communication i always go this way so way my hands don't get in the way i um, having that communication right so it's going to be the communication of not just other people right but also with your intuition with your higher self getting down to the basics of how am i going to deal with this situation right guilt I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. So through this communication within your higher self as you're balancing out your chakras and coming to the solution, right, you can release anything that may be holding you back, anything that may be thinking that, yes, I cannot jump this hurdle. I'm feeling helpless about the situation. Am I feeling guilty about this situation that I cannot find the answers to? Release all of that. All of a sudden you'll realize that things will start hitting you like a hurricane. Things will start coming in. That light bulb will go off, and next thing you know, you'll have this revolution, uh, this kind of, yeah, a revolution around what's going on, but also a revelation, movement, and feeling more encouraged about the situation once you get rid of those beliefs, those beliefs that I cannot jump this hurdle, this is too much for me to handle, I cannot do this, I cannot do that, it's weighing me down, you're weighing me down, no, 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 there's always a solution, right? Don't focus on the problem, focus on the solution. Once you get that into your mind, then we can start really moving, right? Really moving where you need to be. Okay, so do a walking meditation each day for the next week through this communication as you're walking, thinking, talking to the universe, talking to your higher self so that you can resolve the issue. Really getting in there. And also be sure to... Clear your energy field. Use some sage. Use incense. You can use incense that has myrrh in it. Um, myrrh is very good for cleansing. Uh, lavender is very good for negative energy. And, of course, sage is good for everything, right? That's like the go-to, right? Okay. So let's see what's going on within this situation, making sure that you are communicating your thoughts about how you're going to deal with the issues at hand. This is going to raise your chakra vibrations. When your chakra vibrations are raised, your vibration raises, and we get things done. It's our little machine inside of us. A lot of people, you can say it's your chi, okay? Same thing. It's your, um, I always call it, it's your, it's kind of like your body, soul, machine, right? You want it to move smoothly. Making your aura come out very beautiful. Okay, so with the King of Pentacles, it has something to do with, you know, your business, your leadership skills, making sure that you are disciplined within this situation, making sure that you have the generosity to yourself to want to jump these, right? Once we find the generosity to ourselves and we say, you know what, I don't need this, I can do this, and once you start saying I can, then you start releasing these beautiful emotions, right, from the solar plexus of I can 
I can do this, therefore I will do this. Then the guilt will start going away and you won't have that tummy ache within, right? That, that tummy ache that we get within that sacral chakra area, which is located, you know, about six inches above the belly button. And it's that whole area there just before you hit the heart chakra, right? So it's that whole area. And that's why you have, oh, my tummy hurts, right? I'm not feeling good. Um, right. And that will release all, yes, releasing the pains, the aches, the heartaches, the sorrows, the hurt, the loss, the guilt, the depression, anything that's holding you back, making you feel like this is not going to work. This will all dissolve because sooner than you know, all of a sudden when you build that discipline, of, I can do this. You're going to realize everything around you is going to start changing. You're going to start shifting within your own energy field. And what is that shift? That's that shift where the chakras start really working. Now that solar plexus is really going to go, right? You're telling yourself this through your communication of your throat chakra, right? And then all of a sudden it hits your mind. It hits your intuition. That makes that light bulb go off and say, yeah, you know what? I am in control of all of this. <clears throat> yes, that's right. Mental clarity comes through. This is where you're going to have the ultimate mental clarity coming in. Right, so you start walking and start meditating on the situation, trying to jump this, this um, obstacle in the road. Then you will start having a mental breakthrough. You will start having a sharper mind about the situation. No more confusion will exist within this situation of how am I going to do this and how am I going to do that. It will just all become very clear. But make sure that you are clearing your energy field. I would say clear your energy field before walking meditation. Right? This way you can offer yourself what it is. You can find the development. You can find the growth. And you'll have the ambition and the desire to really want now. Right? Because now you've gotten rid of that negative, pessimistic um, guilt or I can't do this. Right? You start getting rid of that. And all of a sudden you're going to want to do these things. That's that sacral chakra coming in saying, oh, now I have the desire. That's where your desire comes in. This is where I want this to happen. I, you know, so I go from I can to yes, I want this. Yes, I can do this. Right? And the next thing you know, you're building and you're building blocks and you find that all of the long-term views that you've been looking through and it's just getting easier and easier as you're planting these seeds within yourself. Right? You're, you're planting all of these little seeds and before you know it, they're going to ripen. And you're going to realize that, that all the obstacles and all the problems that were going on don't seem as big. They seem very small. You can stomp on them. Right? Because things are now coming together. You're feeling more inspired about things. You're finding the spiritual growth within yourself and your chakras are, you know, want to keep them oiled. Right? They're like, a, they're little wheels within our body. Right? little electrical wheels, little energy forces, right? And you want them to keep running as fast as they can. And you can't keep them all going at the same time, but you want as many as you can because then it opens up your heart chakra. And when your heart chakra opens, then all of a sudden it's like, boom, sustainable results. I can see because now I can grow. When you start having the growth, you know your heart chakra is open. You know that now you can do this. Man, you're going to be in the knowing, and next thing you know, you're going to be in the knowing. Your crown chakra is going to open, and you're going to say, now I get it. I get that all of this worry did nothing for me. All this guilt did nothing for me. It just kept me in this place of a lower vibration. It kept me away from things that is attainable for me. It keeps me away from me being the leader, me being where I need to be. And now I have the growth. You see the growth within the Ace of Swords. It's like over here, you were kind of dying, right? It's kind of, you know, and then it starts shedding. You want it to shed, right? Because you don't want this to stay. You want it to shed away. You want the leaves to go away so that it can rebuild and regrow. New, beautiful positivity within yourself as we are trying our hardest. To say no more, right? We have our ups and we have our downs. We always will. But if we can catch them, then we can say, you know what? No more of this because that worry is just giving me a tummy ache. That worry is giving me a headache. That worry is giving me anxiety. Now I have insomnia. I can't sleep. I'm grumpy. I'm moody because I can't sleep. Right? Maybe I'm taking my frustrations out on someone else because I don't know what I, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. I can't jump this hurdle. Time to relax. 
time to grab it by the, you know, grab it by the horns and say, this is not going to happen. This is where I need to get strong. And once you realize this, and then you can start really doing that, but you have to really sit down with yourself, really look at it. Look at it and say, how am I going to get through this impasse, this obstacle? I'm not going to focus on the problem. I'm going to focus on the result. Because over here, you're look at she's ripping her hair out because she's worried about the problem. No more worrying about the problem. Right? Now I'm just going to worry about it. Now I'm not going to worry at all. How about that? I'm not going to worry even about, you're just going to get rid of the word worry. That's, you know, it's a lower vibrational frequency. We're going to get rid of the whole world, uh, the whole word, excuse me, not world, but the whole word. Um, and we're going to say, I can jump this. I can get through this. And I'm not worried about it because sooner or later it's going to resolve itself because I'm going to figure it out. Look, then I'll just worry about the next thing that comes up until I get to the point where I'm going to do the same thing again. Because the next thing is going to come up, I'm not going to remember about it, and then I'm going to say, wait a minute, how did I get through the last one? I didn't worry about it. You probably will, right? We're humans, we're going to worry about the next thing that comes up, and then we're going to try to jump that hurdle too, right? Until you get in the swing of it. Once you get in the swing of it, then you know it, and it's all in your knowing, then you'll be able to do this with all obstacles. You know, it doesn't mean it's going to happen immediately. Everything takes time. That's why it says it's growing. It's growing and it takes time. So see yourself as you would see a friend by be objective about it, meaning take yourself outside of your shoes. Look at it from a different point of view. Because if it was your friend, you'd be like, it's going to be okay, you know, you're going to do this and you're, you're going to do that, right? And you're going to help them out and they're going to sit over there and pull their hair out, right? Well, you're saying, it's okay, we're going to get through this. We can see, let's see what the problem is, right? So you want to be objective like you would helping a friend. You want to see it, you know, it's because it's, it's one of those things that's like easier said than done. So your friend would be like, oh my God, it's so easy for you to say that because you're not in my shoes. Right? <clears throat> but you can take off your own shoes and look inside. Right? That's where you're looking at the sustainable results. That's where you're looking. That's what the Seven of Pentacles is. It's saying I'm looking at the sustainable results. I'm looking at it from a new perspective. I'm seeing it from different ways, looking at the long-term view of how I'm going to do this, looking at the obstacle. And make sure at this time, especially, I love this because this really does go with that Seven of Pentacles as well. I think they both do. Wow, that's crazy. Um, this one is enjoy the process instead of always looking for the result. And that's going to be looking for those sustainable results. So as you're doing it, you're saying, I'm staying determined. I know I can do this. This is only something that's going to last. You know, it's not going to last forever. It's just something I need to jump, right? But I can fix it. I know what I need to do. Everything will become clear with the Ace of Swords. So instead of this is going to kill me, this is going to ruin my life, you've ruined my life, you know, look at it from a different point of view. Look at it from the, you know what, I'm going to learn from this. I'm going to, to get through this. You can also use this for manifesting because it's how we manifest. Hmm. It's really crazy. Ever since I've been taking this manifestation class, it's like almost everything I've been seeing is like, it's, you know, it's one of those things. It's like when you want something, you keep seeing it. You know what I mean? It's like, I, I want, you know, I want this new car. So I keep seeing that same car over and over again because that's what you're manifesting, right? So it's kind of the same thing. It's like almost everything I'm doing, it's like it either has something to do with with numbers, right? When I was doing a lot of numerology, guys, remember I was always like, oh my God, I just did numerology. Now I see three, 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 three. <laughs> so um, it's the same thing. I just keep seeing this law and attraction and this manifestation thing coming through. And it's just like, wow, it's, talk about a link between everything. And talking about three is, you know, 
I just said it, but I agree with that as well because you talk about the mind, body, and soul bringing them together as your chakras. But, uh, but yeah, that's just really crazy because literally that's what it's saying, right? Try to enjoy the process of learning because we all have to learn one way or another. There's no such thing as not having obstacles, okay? We all are going to have obstacles one way or another, depending on how big and how small they are. It's just about how we maneuver around them. How are we going to fix them? How, how long are we going to allow ourselves to be in this mess? Right? It's like you can manifest it, manifest it, manifest it to go around. But remember, manifestation takes action. Right? So it's, it's one of those things where it's like I'm looking for the results, but I'm going to have to see how I'm going to do this. And once you get really good at doing this, it's going to take some time, no matter what. Because the first thing that comes into mind every time you have an obstacle is going to be like, oh my God! <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but then we have to learn how to maneuver around it. Um, so definitely wanting to try to enjoy the process of saying, okay, I got this. I'm going to try to stay more positive about the situation because the negative is not really helping. Really, it's, it's not, um, no matter what the situation is. Um, but yeah, and then, then that will help you really get focused on what it is to maneuver around that situation. Okay, guys? Okay, until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.